All right, John Ways the podcast. I'm here, Junior Swing, the host, Sink or Swim. And we are here with the one and only entrepreneur, business owner, you know, top mogul under 30 in Taco, on the team stage. What's up? Hey, how are you? So for the people that don't know about you, you know, we're going to start off with you, you know, just tell them a little bit about yourself, just so they'll know, you know, who you are and um, who you are in the city. Okay, so um, my name is Anna Palco, and I am a business owner here in Midlands, Texas. I started my first business, The King Cave, which is a men's spa and barber shop at 24. And I just launched Mo Cuts in the full state of Texas um, a couple weeks ago. So Mo Cuts is statewide, and it is a mobile website that you can basically order your barber to come to you at your home, your work, wherever you're at, and cut your hair. Right. Um, it just saves time. It's convenient. You know, people like convenient. People like mobile everything nowadays. Um, so it's just something that's completely, completely different. Yeah, it's real different and real new. Um, what did you go, like what type of process did you go through to find that you wanted to do a website like that to make it different? Um, well, owning a barbershop, I noticed that men don't always have time to come and get their haircut, especially here in an oil filled city. So um, they also don't like the vibe in every shop. There's a lot of businessmen that come into a shop and if they don't like, um, the environment you know they, they tend to walk right out so um people a lot of people aren't super comfortable in a barber shop a lot of men would rather be cut in the comfort of their own home or office oh um, yeah yeah so so i figured that out and and i went i started like two years ago with this idea i thought that it would be perfect because i use um mobile apps all day like doordash and stuff like that um non-stop so i i um I actually did some research and I found out that doing house calls in the state of Texas was illegal. I seen that. So, I did see that. Yeah, so you had to, um, you had to. People do house calls all the time, mm -hmm. um, and they always have, you know, since back in the day. But right. um, they're just it wasn't legal, and a lot of people don't know that it wasn't legal. So, um, which I didn't know that at first. Either. I didn't either. And so I, um, I had to go to the state senate in Austin and talk to Senator Seliger, Kel wow. Seliger, and I pitched him the idea and he's um, he's like an older white gentleman and mm -hmm. you know he doesn't have as much hair so it wasn't so that it wasn't that wasn't just that easy was yeah, it? Yeah, it wasn't super wow. easy. Um, it actually no, it actually was way easier than I thought. You know, I set up the meeting, I walked right in, I spoke with him and um, his contact person and they were all for the idea. They were super excited. Um, the bill process went really smooth. Nobody rejected it. Of course, it took about a year, year and a half Ooh. to go all the way through. You know, we kept having to fly to Austin. Long process. Like, the court dates. Yeah, make sure nobody was debating it. Um, so we did that for a long time. And then finally, Governor Greg Abbott signed off on the mm. bill. And um, it went into effect September 1st of this year. So the bill states that you can do now um, mobile haircuts, but only through a web-based service which mine is the only one in the state of Texas, and it's patented everything. So So they would have to go through they you. They would have to go through me to be able um, to make a profit off of it. To work to do it anytime soon because nobody else isn't is doing it. Right. So um, I guess for the King's Cave or the Mo Cuts, what, um, what other cities would you ex like to expand in? Um, for Mo Cuts right now, we're in Midland, Odessa, Lubbock, and Dallas. Oh, man. Um, we're going to expand to every big city. Hopefully before 2020, I want to be in Houston, Austin, the big San Antonio, city. El Paso. Um, I think we're hitting El Paso next. We just left Lubbock. So well, the process is just as soon as a barber signs up in that city, um, mm -hmm. the city becomes active. Right, right. Wow. Wow, so so far it's been going good since yeah. you released it. So well. far so good. Um, just trying to get the word out um, more so on that because, you know, um, it's just a lot of footwork too. I take flyers like every day to different businesses, mm -hmm. different companies, make sure people know about it. Yeah. Just getting the name out there. Yeah, we do social media marketing and target marketing. I have a marketing company, but I think footwork and hustle, doing it yourself really makes it more yeah, legit. Yeah, I understand that. So when you started with Kings, hey, what made you do like a, I guess a men's hair and spa, not to, more so like something for the women what made you go that well, cause avenue Mid midland has already like so many so, salons makes sense. so so much stuff for women already and so i wanted to make right. it a place for men where they just felt comfortable you know you can come chill mm -hmm. you can play pool drink a beer you know relax and still feel manly in an environment where you can get a facial you can get a pedicure you can mm -hmm. you know get a massage and still feel manly about 
everything, the facials, the pedicures, skincare is really, really important. And a lot of men um, lack with that. So. Okay, and with the King's Cave, y'all, so what all do y'all offer, you know, at the King's Cave? I know you do haircuts, you do dreads, I'm sure, yeah. facials and massages as well. And yes, facials, massages, um, extensions, literally anything you can think of. So we do cater to women also, mm -hmm. um, more so like, you know, with the massages. So you can come in with your girl and she can get a massage while, you know, you're getting your hair cut. Okay. Or she can, you know, get her hair done as well. A lot of our... Um, Barbers and Silas do both. So. Oh, okay, so it's called the King's Cave, but women can also go and get their yeah, hair done, or younger them. women and girls as well. Of course, yes. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. So it's open. It's open to everybody. Yeah. All right, all right. So King's Cave and then your new website opening. Things have been going pretty good. So I guess on your journey to open up the King's Cave in your website, what were some of the um, obstacles that you faced or you know, hard things out before you, um, to get to where you're at. Okay. So, um, I started the King Cave at 24 mm -hmm. and I was a dental assistant. So mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about business, never went to school for business. I just mm -hmm. decided, let me put all my savings into this cause I believe in it and I think it'll be great. Um, so that's what I, I put a big majority of my savings into it. And, um, you know, we did the whole building, just made everything wow. look perfect. It's very, very nice. And the inside for people who haven't been in there yet, you should check it out. Um, but I, I put so much into it and then I opened the doors and I realized like, I don't even have any barbers yet. Like I just really was rushing into it, which yeah, a lot of people do in business. Do. You have to be careful because, um, cause then, you know, you're stuck paying the rent and stuff. And I pay a high yeah, rent where I'm I at just... because it's huge square footage. And so, um, for the first about six months to a year, I'm paying out of pocket every oh, month. Man. Every month uh, while I'm, you know, still trying to get the word out about mm -hmm. it. Haven't really thought about marketing or right. anything. I just opened the doors and I was like, okay, do you know you expect just like everything to go smoothly as soon as you open the doors? Yeah. And I'm like, wait, I need to have barbers. I need to have people there. I really just rushed so fast into it. And that's the one thing I regretted. But I really don't at the same time because you have to learn those lessons in business. You do. You live it's and learn. Definitely. Especially with uh, marketing. When you start a business, anybody mm -hmm. at any age, um, you're going to have people come from out of everywhere trying to get you to sign up for this, sign up for that, okay. um, spend this much money on marketing, and they, they will try to pull the wool over your eyes oh, and man. try to tax you like crazy because they, they just want business. They see your business, they see yeah. th that you have this big business, so they assume you know that you got money and they think yeah. they can get it from you. Yes, and they will try to they will try to tax you for every little thing. They will just, it's, it's crazy, it's a mess, but um, I, I learned a lot in the beginning. I had with the POS systems, with literally everything, I, I learned so much in the beginning. From the ground up, just had yeah, to do I it. Yeah, I made so many mistakes in the beginning with the King Cave, so mm. now I'm so knowledgeable about everything moving forward. Right. So what's some advice you would give somebody that's, I guess, trying to start a business or do something on their own or be independent? Definitely um, just completely go for it. Mm. Do whatever you got to do. Um, if you feel like, like how mine was illegal and... You know, I knew that this business would be beneficial. I knew mm -hmm. it would be profitable. Um, go for it. Do what you have to do. Don't be scared. Don't mm -hmm. be scared to jump over the obstacles and get get it done, you know? Um, don't be scared of trying to make a change and get a bill passed. It honestly was yeah. super easy. And I'm a felon. You know, I have tattoos. I was pregnant at the time. So so for me, going into kind of a men's world, the Senate, you know, a bunch yeah. of men in suits, a bunch of people um that's true a it woman was super going different. up there to get a bill passed you know with for, tattoos yeah pregnant, to, a for haircuts, they, you of know. Course they don't they didn't know that about me a lot of people don't know that i have a felony um mm -hmm. but i mean just push past all of it and really get it done you know? and turn it around yeah because i know getting that bill passed was hard and was there any time during it that you just wanted to like uh I don't know, give up, or you yeah. felt like they were giving you the runaround, because I know you get one thing, and yeah. they'll be like, hey, you got one more thing to do. Oh, yeah, I didn't, ex I've never, like, been through that process, so it was, it was, it, it was draining, um, in the beginning, the bill had died a couple of times, so sometimes the bill can die, you know, um, and you have to bring it back, so it's, it's kind of a weird process, because if the bill dies out completely, then it's forgotten about, you gotta rerun it through the system, and so we had to do that one time, um, mm -hmm. And just, you know, the multiple court dates, you know, okay, we finished this one, nobody debated it, let's go to the next one, see who debates it and stuff like that. Really? So it was, it was awesome, though. It was a really cool experience. Long process, but it all paid off, right? Oh, yeah, totally. And yeah. it was a really cool learning experience, like I said, and it, it was really gratifying to know that um, 
I can make a difference like that, which mm. means if I can do it, you know, anybody can. Yeah, yeah, that is showing that um nothing's impossible. It's going to take a lot of steps, but you just got to do it, right? Yeah. So. I got you, I got you. So what are some other things that you want to... um. I guess do in the future. We know you have the King's Cave and you got the website. Are there any other um, goals that you have or any other ventures that you have coming, you think? Right now, I'm just trying to stack up with the most huts and make mm -hmm. it as profitable as possible, get I the word you. out there. I want to take over the whole state of Texas with it. So that's the goal right now. And as soon as I hit every mm -hmm. major city, then I'll be able to rest so, and settle and, you know, that's. Next the, state, huh? Yeah, take the profit in, yeah, and, yeah, and work so, on the next state. Yeah, because something like that is uh, worldwide. Um, a lot of people don't use social media like they should, and uh, a website is a way to do it. Oh, yeah, definitely. You can reach so many people, a lot of people. So we also want to say a John Ways congrats on being, you know, one of the top young entrepreneurs in the city. Um, how did that work, or how did that come about? I mean, we know you're an entrepreneur and young, but I'm sure there were more people they could have picked and so, so, yeah. so on, so... How did that happen for you? Definitely. Well, they just contacted me and they said that they had chosen me to be mm -hmm. a part of the feature. So, I'm not exactly sure like the process that they used to, mm -hmm. you know, pick pick the people. But I, I was really happy that they did. Yeah, I did see some other people that were on there. And so when I did see it um, from a place that I visit, I was like, man, that's big. That's big, and not just an entrepreneur, but under 30. So, I guess since you're under 30, what are some things you'd want to do by the time you're 30? I know you got something, you know, some things to knock off the list. Oh, yeah, definitely. I just definitely want to hit my major goals um, financially with this mm -hmm. company and just take it to the highest level I can take it to. Right, meet your quotas. Definitely. That's and, cool. you know, do what I have to do to to make, make sure that it's completely profitable and just expands the way I want it to. I want it to boom like Uber will boom. Or yeah, Uber has boom, so. I did see that it said the Uber of haircuts. That's that was a good title right there. Yeah, that's well, I mean, that's, that's what the, the news station dubbed it. The Uber. Yeah, haircuts, yeah. So. I mean, that's a good title yeah. for it. I mean, that explains it. So when somebody asks about the website, mm -hmm. if you tell them, the, you know, the Uber of haircuts, there's no way that they um, you know, that they can't understand it. Right. Totally. Okay. Okay. All right. So and then for, last on the website, um, <clears throat> what is the process? Um, I guess getting somebody to come. Here, uh, cut my hair at my house how what is that do i just go to the website and is there barbers to pick from or how, how does that work okay so you go to the website which is www.mocuts.com okay. m-o-c-u-t-s mm -hmm. dot com and um you just go to the category select barber mm -hmm. select search and all the barbers come up you pick the barber that you want in your okay. city and the barber um you book them right then and there on the app um you know, you pay for it there. You you get to go through the different profiles. So you get to see, like, the barber's work. Oh, haircuts. man. They have videos on there. They have everything. That's what I was just wondering. They I all make like, different yeah. prices. So it's, um, you oh, know. Oh, really? You, so you yeah. got a variety. You got a big variety. You got a big variety. You get to pick, you know, the person that you want in your home or your work. Because if you see somebody and, you know, maybe I don't want that person. Yeah. Then, you know how some people just yeah. will p be picky about that, you know. So, um. I, or maybe you know their price is too high you mm -hmm. don't want to pay that much but this other person is charging right. less and but you want to see their work and the quality of their work they have pictures up oh well. that's online man that's yeah, good they're required to keep pictures up and and make their own prices and make them yeah so if there's a certain style you won't be shocked you know if you get somebody there and they do something oh, different okay. um you can look at it beforehand yeah and make sure that you're gonna wow. get a good haircut and not just you're not paying this, extra money yeah. you know because it's there the prices are going to be a little higher than going into the shop because um you know these people are using their gas they're going mm -hmm. to use they're packing up all their clippers all their oh yeah it's very convenient stuff, for so. people though because um when i when i heard about it i knew it was good for the men the older men but i also thought man that should be good for um single mothers too definitely you know they got about three or four kids, kids or yeah. how many ever kids they got they running around can't get them out it's cold or whatever all you got to do is just book it online and somebody will cut them all up yeah definitely I think it's going to be very beneficial in the winter. Oh, also, yeah. like you said, um, it's cold. You don't want to take the kids out. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we've cut people that, um, you know, are handicapped, can't get out. Right. Just all kind of different people. Um, old field, we've been to man camps, everything. So we've gotten a, a ton of good bookings here and mm -hmm. want to keep expanding to everybody. And is there a time frame when people want to get a haircut, they should um, know the book before, you know, because I know how some people will be, man, it's Friday, hey. Let me see if I can get a haircut in 30 minutes before this party. Like, should they try to book? book like at least you know, an hour before. An hour before. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, definitely. 
they have the time slots there. So um, the barbers set their own schedule too. So if they're, they set the days and the times that they're available. So you can pick them. So you can pick them, yeah. So so if you go and you want a haircut in 30 minutes, then maybe only one barber is going to be able to do that. But, mm -hmm. you know, all of the barbers that we have on there are talented. Um, they're, they're pretty great. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. That's good. Well, we want to appreciate you for stopping by and checking in with us at John Ways. Let everybody know. Hashtag Sink or Swim. We checked in with Anna Palco at Kings Cave and MoCuts.com. Check the website out. Stop by, get your hair cut at Kings Cave. Is um, anything you want to tell the people or anywhere they can find Kings Cave on uh, social media? Definitely. We have a Facebook page um, for the King Cave and for MoCuts. So go check us out on both of those. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by. And that'll be it. John Ways, Sink or Swim. Thank you.